Hello everyone, James from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining me. And today we're gonna be discussing a desert survival food that is quite plentiful at this time of year. Now this plant right here is the yucca plant, also known locally as the Spanish dagger. And we have talked about this plant many times in several videos before, from making soap out of the roots to having a food source from its flowers and its fruits. Now it is currently early springtime. We are getting some rain and it is starting to get warm out here. Because of that, you can see this purple bulb this stalk right here, and they always remind me of the eggs from Alien movies. But anyway, this stalk right here is edible. Now as spring progresses, it's gonna grow taller and it's gonna flower out, and it's bright white flowers. Once again, those are edible as well. And as spring turns to summer, those flowers become fruits. Once again, edible. Now notice that I did say edible and not necessarily enjoyable, and that's uh, at least in my personal opinion, I know several people who do enjoy eating these things. Personally, I find them quite bitter, but it could be a regional thing because I am in a far more arid climate, so there could be a difference in tastes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna harvest that plant, I'm sorry, the bulb, and we're gonna roast it right up. So if you find yourself out here in the American Southwest and you're hungry, I'm not gonna say that you're gonna be dining on gourmet if you're gonna eat one of these things, but at least you're gonna be full. So thank you for joining me. Let's get started. All right, so let's slowly make our way towards the bloom. And you want to watch out because these spikes, they are not playing around. They will cut you. So here's a good... All right, folks, so here is our yucca bloom. I rinsed it, so if you have extra water, I would suggest rinsing it just to get the dirt and all that stuff out. If you can't, well, too bad. Uh, in the meantime, we have our fire nice, you know, getting it nice and hot for a good bed of coals for cooking. Now, guys, it is really windy out here. We are expecting some rainstorms, so in case audio isn't as crisp as I wish it was, I apologize for that. That's just the reality of an outdoor channel. But anyway, so I rinsed this bad boy, so now I have my cutting board right here, and I'm going to chop this up. So get to get it ready to cook and we're going to cook it in two different ways. All right, as you can tell, this is quite a bit of food already. Now, in case, you know, you don't have a cutting board, whatever the case may be, you can just rip these out and they're not difficult to rip out like that and cook these over a rock so they remove quite easily and these these become very thin when you cook them and they come personally I like these a lot better than something like this all right so we chopped up a good amount of the yucca now let me just be honest Yucca is extremely bitter, is actually very unpleasant, at least in my opinion. So what we wanna do is try to make it as palatable as possible. It doesn't matter how much food you have, if you're not gonna wanna eat it, it's no good. So we're gonna go two different ways to make everybody happy. One, we're gonna go very caveman, primitive style, and we're just gonna cook these little pieces right on a rock, just to just cook them up, you know, get those carbs out, and we're gonna eat them. They're not gonna be that pleasant, but you know, if that's all you have, you know, you could go very primitive style. And we're gonna go do a second method, which is my preferred method, is I'm gonna get my pot, fill it with water, and we're gonna boil them. And the, bo the boiling is gonna kill some of that bitterness. Now that's, if you're you know short on water, then you're not gonna be able to do this, but luckily we're not short on water, so we're gonna do that, and it just, it takes away the bitterness completely, and it's actually quite enjoyable that way. So, let's get to it.
Now, for those of you wondering, is this edible raw? Yes, it is, but it is not something you're gonna enjoy doing. I'm gonna hate myself for doing this, but I'm doing this for you. So here's a piece, and it is very bitter. It's soft, but it's bitter. Ooh. The texture is like cauliflower or broccoli, but it's such a very potent taste of bitterness. It's frankly disgusting. It's my least favorite wild food out here, to be truthful, yucca. And uh, I need to drink some water now. Ah! Ah! And the, the taste lingers in your tongue for a while. It makes you just miss your toothbrush, to be honest. So this way, cooking it's gonna be a lot more palatable. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and it is already boiling. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave these to boil for a few more minutes and then I'm gonna dump out the water and pour new water and repeat, repeat the process. Now, uh, if you're trying to conserve water, this can be, it's edible as is with just one boil, but you're still gonna have a little bit of that bitterness. Me personally, I'd rather do it twice and it just removes it completely, but it's up to you. But yes, once again, I'm just going to leave them to boil for a little bit longer, and then I'm going to just uh, empty this out. Water this plant. As I said earlier, it is edible as is already, uh, with just boiling it once. Um, it's okay. It has uh, almost like cabbage. And in fact, um, Cuervo says it smells like cabbage. It's fine, it's a lot better now. Pretty good actually. But just to you know, enjoy yourselves, when you're moving past survival and more towards subsistence, you're gonna want more enjoyment. And I'm just gonna fill this up and repeat the process. Now some smart Alex are gonna say, you know, with boiling it, you're gonna start losing nutritional value. And you have a point there, but at the same time, no matter how nutritional something is, if you're not gonna enjoy eating it, if you take two bites and lose your appetite, what good is it gonna do? So I'd much rather do this and then enjoy it and I'm able to eat larger volumes. Once again, that depends, you know, if you have a stream nearby, some body of water, or you brought, like, like ourselves, we brought water with us, or you take it home where we have, you know, the amenities of modern day. But I'm gonna let this boil one more time and then we're gonna get fancy with it. All right, so these are as good as they're gonna get, guys. I'm not gonna enjoy this, but for those of you who wanna just see something straight from, from the plant to the fire, very primitive, this is how we're gonna go about it. It's okay, the charring is gonna add a little bit of flavor to it. It's better, but it's by no means anything pleasant. Now, when you do do this, oddly, it um, it gives it a slight, slight sweetness to it. Very slight, but it is just a little bit more palatable. Once again, guys, I'm trying to block the winds here, but uh, yeah, if you want to go just completely survivalist mode, caveman mode. So let's make them, let's get this recipe underway. Okay, so I went ahead and removed the water from the second boil. There we go. And now the bitterness should be completely gone. So let me get a little piece to show you guys. I'm trying to do this while shielding the mic from the winds, but it's like boiled cabbage. I mean, it's bland it's tasteless but I prefer tasteless over bitter now what you can do is now you, you're free to get luxurious 
and you can add spices or mix it with something else. Uh, you can take it home and mix it with your stir fry, something like that. So we're gonna get a little fancy out here. We're gonna saute them in butter and make some spices like cayenne and pepper, salt, that kind of stuff. So we're gonna enjoy our lunch. So let's get to it. Okay, here we go, folks. It is being sauteed in butter, and then we did add Cajun, cayenne, pepper, and salt. So this is gonna come out pretty dang good right there. So it is lunchtime. So I did this, this is my preferred method, which is boiling it twice getting rid of the water and then messing around, you know, mixing it with butter and some spices. And the boiling process is gonna remove the bitterness. And then of course it becomes bland at that point, but I prefer bland over bitterness, that's for sure. So now I get to mix it with other stuff and it's gonna complement the taste. So, time to take a taste test. A lot better, definitely. Really good. Once again, I get a lot of uh, cauliflower or boiled cabbage, and of course I can taste the butter and the cayenne and all that stuff, so it's gonna complement the taste. Now, once again, naysayers are gonna say that, you know, boiling it too many times is gonna kill a lot of the nutrients. That is true, but at the same time, you know, look how much we have left. You know, these things, not only are they abundant at this time of year, but they're quite large. So, you know, I can make up with that by eating larger amounts than eating, you know, taking two bites and losing my appetite. So personally, I think that's better. It's just gonna be more enjoyable. And um, I could definitely see this, this way of cooking it, uh, complementing another meal. Say you're out rabbit hunting, get yourself a rabbit, a snake to roast up, and this on the side, and you're eating some good old Southwestern cuisine right there. So, once again, this is my preferred method. And it's some pretty good stuff. You can take this home, mix it with your stir fry, that kind of stuff, and it's pretty good. All right, guys, so that's about the conclusion of this video. I apologize, we have been fighting the elements behind the scenes, I mean, from rainstorms to wind and now lighting, but I really wanna get this video to you guys. Yucca is a very versatile plant that has so many uses. As spring turns into summer, this is edible and it's gonna grow into flowers, which are also edible. In time, those flowers become fruits, which are also edible. Not only that, but you can make a soap out of the root we have a video on that as well from the yucca root and then you can make cordage out of the spikes as well so a ton of uses for this plant and i just wanted to show you guys another one now once again you can go gung-ho survivalist and just cook them the way they are they're not very pleasant to be honest i much prefer the way i did it and i'm still going to take this home and mess with different recipes to show you guys for future videos um, because i mean it's not always about survival you know it's a lot also about you know just being more in tune with nature and you know whatever it has to you know offer you know 90 percent of our food can come from the grocery store but whatever we can take out here and be respectful uh, you know i think that makes a big difference you know a little bit more of a modern hunter gatherer mentality so that's pretty cool all right guys so that's about the conclusion once again if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give us a thumbs up and comment below how would you like to see it cooked in the for a future i'm thinking something of a desert stir fry in a couple weeks you know mixing these with some prickly pear cactus and uh who knows maybe we can catch ourselves a snake or a rabbit chop it up and cook it on there as well so we'll see all right guys so we got to get out of this wind if you liked it once again give us a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next week with another video now go outside and get your boots dirty. Thank you.